dear Neil and Banky, I'm white. Yes, I yes, speak yes. pretty much like Neil, i.e. white as fuck. Now, <laughs> I don't know. First of all. That was a diss. They, I don't even know if it is a diss. Because I will say that part of my charm with other races is that I don't. Yeah, you I don't, don't black like it up. Zaw. I don't black send it. I don't cluck my wings. Like, I'm saying, dog. I just don't. That's the worst. Um, so it's a choice, my friend. On occasion, I use lingo that's considered traditionally black lingo. For instance, I say dog and yo. Sometimes when I'm telling my friends or family a story, I'll say something along the lines of your boy went to the beach this weekend. Ew. I've started to feel like maybe I should quit this. Is this cultural appropriation? Should I stick to my corny white lingo? Side question for Bianca mostly. <laughs> Do you think it's okay for Latinos and Asians to use black slang? Asians. I've heard a lot of Latinos and Asians use the N-word. Should they stop? I'll take the white part, I'll Bianca. Take the white part. I don't think that I mean this is to the tribe called Quest to the tribe the tribe called Sweat, the tribe called Sweat. argument. Just let black people have their language. Dude. And the idea that white is white is corny. English is not corny. I, I'm having a good vocabulary is fucking it's a good toolbox. It's a good um it it says a good amount about you if you can use a bunch of if you have a good command of language. So I don't think anyone's ever like, you ever seen Neil Brennan talk? That corny motherfucker. Right, right, right. If you can be specific and don't have a corny and pointed and, and and you and you have um original thoughts, there's nothing corny about he it. He wants to know though, speaking like you. Should how you say he... your your boy went to the beach? No, no there's nothing never. that's indefensible. It's the corniest <laughs> so shit bad. in the world. But he wants to know how to like Also, don't talk to your family like that. Your that's friends, really it's strange. bad enough, but your family he wants are you to... flexing on your mom? <laughs> your your, your boy, boy. <laughs> Um, yeah. What, what, as a white guy like you who mm -hmm. speaks like you, mm -hmm. how do you speak about something really passionate? Like, like you're really excited. Like, oh shit. I, I get, got uh, how do you, I, I curse. That you shit was don't. fucking oh, yeah, you, amazing. I get like pointed get very... fucking fuck. You do do that. I, uh, that is it. Cause you, I can't, you I've never seen you like, oh my God. Like mm -hmm. that's just not your energy. No, you're like. I had a funny uh, experience before you and before you answer your the Asian yeah. Latino part. Come on. Uh, I was supposed to do a show on Thursday at the Comedy Store. In the main room. Oh no! The black show. The fucking. It oh. was so I, but I was scheduled sold out, all black. Yes. Some some shows are black, but they don't have black energy. It had palpably it black energy. The from not and I didn't show. go in the room. I was on the lineup. You didn't even go. And I was, but I was sick. Oh, okay. I was like, I'm still sick, but I was sicker, way sicker then. And I said to Drew, like, I was saying, joking backstage, like, I can't do a black show without a hundred percent energy. In, I can't, dude. like, I need all of my awareness to do a black show. And then I was like, who's on it? They're like, Mike Epps, Michael Blacks, and yeah, I was like, like, nah, goodbye. I'm fucking goodbye. Goodbye. Smell you later. That was my car leaving the party. First of all, can I just tell you how funny that is? Uh, the waitresses are still recovering from that. <laughs> <laughs> There's just like, just Thursday was really hard. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, because you didn't work here when the, we when used to have the laugh mob and cra yeah. um, tripping on Tuesdays. Yep. And I'm like, you didn't, you know, Jimmy. You yeah. didn't know. And so they are not used to working all black rooms. I came from a black comedy club yes. before the store. Yeah. So I'm used to it. Um, granted, different stuff. One, if you're bad, the audience will let you know yeah. immediately. There's yes. no politeness there. They don't They don't boo. No. They will just talk they will. at full volume to their friends. <laughs> about? And maybe how? about you. Maybe about yesterday, tomorrow. But you the will hear, shift. It's you like, will, you have to, it is different. And white comics after working at, it's not a white comedy club, but it's not a black comedy club this time. Yeah. Um, it's most certainly not a black comedy club. Uh, white comics will talk about black rooms. Like he's like, oh, he does good in white, in black clubs. Like he does good in no, black No, I was like, like a, I said, like a badge. To, I said to Theo, I was like, I can't. 
this is like a I can't go try to bench four hundred with a and I was like I'm gonna get like I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get yeah the shit's gonna land on my throat. I feel like Theo would actually Theo might, might. do well or not. He he He's could so country do pumpkin. no I know but if he said the wrong he does have like a little bit of he does say fucked up shit racially. Yeah. That if they took it the wrong way, he'd be in trouble. Yeah, it would, it would the room would yeah. yeah. Um, um, but it everybody's like, and I'm just like laughing, like I'm just like. I would have done it if I had full strength because I have some good black jokes right now. I just have good race jokes. And Michael Blacks, like it was like that was like energy. No, it was energy. like real, and Mike Epps, and like yeah, Mike doesn't like like yeah. So anyway, speak about the Asians and, okay. and uh, Latinos. Um, speak so. On. I really fucking hate when the weird thing is though, it's like on the East coast in New York, I don't know what happened. I don't particularly like speaking on that. Cause it's like Puerto Ricans just yeah, say the Dominican, like all yeah. the Latin people. I mean, people. look, Dominicans are black, but they don't, but they sure don't like to claim black. They don't claim they sure it. They sure are but, like, Oh no, I am yeah, not black. But, I'm Latin. But like they are the close, they are the, they're, they are watered down they're black. descendants of slaves. The whole right? island. Well, half the island is Haiti. Right. The other half is Dominican Republic. Do you think that they, yeah. just, they just randomly yeah. have black people yeah. on an island yes. for no reason? Yeah. You're all black. You yes. just got, yeah, yes. mixed up. Like DJ Envy's Dominican. And it's like. And uh, DJ Envy's black. Yes, exactly. I mean, that, But the, I just, I feel like some sort of way because I'm Afro-Latin. And it's like, Latin people are always like. Like, I'm not black. And I'm like, yo, but you sure as hell say nigga as much as you possibly yeah. can. Yeah. I go to New York. It's like, my nigga, you know what? My, my nigga, what the fuck? My nigga. Yeah. I'm like, it's like I'm numb to it. Yes. It's strange, but I'm not from there. Yes. And I don't fully understand the like social dynamics over there because I'm not from there. So I don't particularly commenting on it. But from afar. I would say. From my like California I th stance. Yes. Like, I would say. I think. In New York, it, we're talking in particular in, in Brooklyn, York. Manhattan, Queens, Queens Bronx. Bronx. Enjoy yourselves, Latino <laughs> people. Have at it. Well, it's not mine to give, but as far as I'm concerned, if I'm watching it, if black people are not around and uh, uh, Latinos come up and they're like, can we use this? I'll be like. You know what? You're yeah, no like one's a, no one else is here. I told you to watch yeah, it, Neil. Like, no, I know, I Neil, know, but you're they look. You're supposed to watch it. I know, but they look. They might as well have been black. That's like actually, and it's funny because Cardi B gets away with it. Yeah, and I have a problem with it, whatever. But in like early 2000s or whatever, J Lo was yeah. doing a song and was like, and all these niggas mind their business, and everyone's like, J Lo, yeah. and that's well, that she, came down to a class thing. But it's because you court white. Yeah. If you court white, you yes. can't go back to Jenny from the block. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. Asian people, listen. I'm from the Bay. Mm -hmm. I spiritually identify as half Vietnamese, half Chinese. Jesus. It, I don't know where you get. Spiritually. You were just Afro-Latin. I'm Afro-Latin, actually. But spiritually, okay. spiritually, because people can, you know, these days we can just Why? identify. Why? Um, I just always grew up around Asian people and I just have a weird kinship. Like, I just like yeah. Vietnamese culture and you Chinese like culture. You like a broth? Yes, I like a good bumba huay. You like sitting on the ground? <laughs> okay, that's eating. enough. Thank you. Go on. Um, you like so a slurp? I, <laughs> when you're from the Bay, like everyone's white, black, Mexican, Asian. We all kind of act a little yeah. hood. Yeah. You know, so the lines are a little closer yes. together. And everyone is just buffeting the black culture. So, well, I'm going to take from Chinese and Vietnamese then. Thank I'm not you. mad at you. I'm just saying no, I don't I understand. I thought you were saying it like it's a, a thing that you are. No, 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 I'm okay. not. But I am, but I'm not, but I am. But all my Vietnamese and Chinese friends are like, Jesus, there's more than like, anyways, it doesn't matter. The point is that when Asian people call each other nigga, it is so stupid. I don't understand it. I just Yeah, don't. it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't, there's no effective argument. Because also, at least Puerto Ricans and and Dominicans and stuff like, they kind of have like a similar plight, not the same, but it's yeah, like but it's close, close enough. Close They're enough. getting they get cops fucked are with never like cops never game. pull over. They never stop and frisk Asians. No, so it's like, yo, what? Yeah. I get it. You're a minority because they're in wearing Fubu. <laughs> yeah, and they did wear a lot of Fubu. Sure, 
it's I get it that you're a minority in America, but you Asian people definitely court the wider side of things a lot of the time. They they see a difference. Except I'm not talking about my Filipinos. They love well, they're down yes. they're down in the trenches with us. Yeah. But a lot of Asian people like I don't know, I think there's a big difference. I think there's like black people look down upon like maybe at a parental immigrant level in the Asian community. I don't yeah. know about, but it's still, it's like, what do you do to like use that word? I don't get it. I don't, I'm not the, yeah, there's no, but. like the experience is different. The, the, it's all the treatments different. The, you may be poor, but you know, that's not going to last long. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's one generation away from changing. Uh. Uh, oh, you Lord. weren't slaves. You weren't part of the slave trade that you weren't colonized. Really? Again, that's which is where Filipinos come in. And because I always say uh, not to say that most of Asia wasn't colonized, but the world ran a train on the Philippines. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. Dude, that's why they, the world literally ran a train on the Philippines. But Everyone Filipinos, got some. Yo, but Filipinos, if go to any college, if there is a hip hop student union, it's solely Filipino. They are here for it. Yes. The Filipino brothers and sisters are here fighting yes. by our side. Yes. Everybody well, else. Well, again, then we're in a Dolezalville. Whether they're fighting for it. I mean, just, that was a joke. Yes. They look, they look, I mean, the joke is they look Latino anyway, so. But I just mean, like, I see Filipinos, like, I feel like kind of are with it and they're kind I just, I don't see Japanese people, like. Oh, no. Here, Japanese like, people are, like, buying Wu-Tang trading cards, but that's not, <laughs> they're not, they, they're collectors, but they're not actually d moving the needle on culture. Um, all right, we gotta go. This is how do you feel? Tell us how do you feel, Neil? This is how do you feel? Tell us just how you feel, Neil. Ay. I said, welcome to how do you feel? You know the deal. Gotta learn just how Neil Brennan feels. He keeps it real with his co-host.